welcome to the production jam. The first two sprints, you thought in the way of the game jam, right? Move fast, break things, make prototypes, make concept art, white boxes, any and all ideas were welcome, right? Those first two jams, they were sort of the Wild West portion, you know, the anything goes portion of the jam. Uh, what normally is the first day or two of a 48 hour jam. Now that you're done those two weeks of concepting and prototyping, it's time to think long-term. How can you take the lessons learned from those first two weeks and those first two sprints and apply them to a project that has a little more substance, a little more feasibility, right? You're in it for the long haul now. You have two weeks ahead of you of production. So what you have to ask yourself is, what are we doing for that first week? What are we doing for that second week? What are the must haves, the things we absolutely need for this to function versus the stuff we'd love to have, but maybe isn't quite necessary. So the best thing you can do to start a production jam is to sit down, and build your milestone plan. What is your two weeks of development going to look at, look like? What are your high priority tasks? Really take the time to discover your production plan for the next two weeks. This will ensure that by the end of the two weeks, you have something that's absolutely playable, covers all of the main ideas, the main focus points of your project, uh, and then still has space for that last week, that polished stage. Best of luck to all of you.